All right, so let's uh, start working on the next assignment um, that is going to allow us to um, uh, implement the model and the schema uh, and be able to store this information permanently in the database. Right? Uh, so to do that, uh, we're going to uh, create uh, a couple of uh, directories here that will, are going to allow us to uh, implement these models and these, and these schemas. So to do that, we're going to do all our work in, in a directory called models. Right? And, and here's where we're going to implement all our schemas and models for the different entity types. Okay? Uh, one common way to implement this is to provide a directory for every type of entity. Right? So for instance, you have user. Right? And you might have here a uh, website. website. Uh, notice that these are singular. Uh, then a page. So all these are all the these are all the data mo the, the data models that we're going to be implementing, right? And widget, right? And for each one of them, you would implement a separate schema and a separate model, right? So let's implement the schema for user. So this would be something like user uh, dot schema dot server dot js, right? Uh, and uh, uh, to to implement this, we're going to need uh, mongoose. Right, to declare the schema of the user. Right, so let's do that. Let's uh, require uh, uh, mongoose, so var mongoose, and uh, we'll do, uh, let's see, um, require mongoose, mongoose. Right, so what, once we have mongoose, we can declare the user schema. Right, we can say var user schema uh, is equal to mongoose dot schema. Right, and here we can we can uh, then copy from uh, our assignment somewhere assignment number five uh, the various attributes and properties of a user. Uh, so we have here we want a uh, username. So we want a username of type string. Uh, we want a password. Of type string. Uh, we want first name and last name. Uh, email, and you get the idea. Let's uh, let's let's go down here and uh, the date that it was created. Uh, this will be date of type date, uh, and we want the default to be. Date dot now. Yes. Okay. Uh, now for for websites, we want an array. We want an array, right? Of what? An array of references to uh, some other data model that represents uh, websites. Okay. Uh, so what we want really here is to store the IDs of those websites, right? Just like a foreign key. Right? Those are the, the, each website has its own primary key, but I want to represent it here, uh, uh, knowing that it's 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 uh, being used to represent websites, right? So to do that, uh, the type uh, it's going to be an ID, right? And that's a um, a mongoose data type. Uh, I think it's schema. Yeah, there it is. And then object ID. There it is. So that means that I'm going to store IDs, these guys, right? The, the underscore IDs, right, for each one of them, I'm going to store it in there. And I'm also going to tell it that that ID is referencing an object of a particular schema, right? That it represents a particular model that we haven't created just yet, right? We haven't just created yet, right? But I can go ahead and tell it what it is, right? It won't validate it until I actually try to use it, right? If I try to use it. Uh, so for now, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to tell it anyway uh, that our uh, that this is going to reference it's going to reference a um, uh, a a website website uh, model, okay? A website model. Now, because I know I'm going to create another website model tomorrow morning, right? I'm going to call this uh, the graduate website model. Is that okay? 
All right. Uh, also, I like to be able to choose the name of the collection where I'm going to store this. Okay. Uh, and a, a, a common collection that I would choose uh, is a user. Okay. But since tomorrow I'm going to use a, create another collection, also called user, I'm going to prepend this with graduate dot user. That okay? All right. Actually, uh, a graduate underscore user because dot has a particular meaning. Here okay? All right. Okay. Now I like to be able to reuse this user schema outside of this file, right? And the way uh, my, um, Node.js allows us to share uh, pieces of information is through the uh, modules that exports. Export, uh, and I want to say, I want to export the user schema. Meaning that anybody who requires this file is going to get this instance. Yes? Everybody good? All right, great. Okay, so that's the schema. 